From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA with incredible great news about fourth stimulus check update of 2022. A major letter sent by Congress to the White House to pass the Build Back Better Act sent today. All the breaking details on this incredible letter. And then the inflation and then the China situation and the Iraq situation unfolding overnight. We'll go over all the breaking news that you need to know of your money domestically and impacted internationally. First up is, of course, the Build Back Better app. We'll be looking at that credible new letter that is sent to the White House that says, pass it, pass it this week, number one. Then we'll be looking at the SS300. As Jay Powell is set to testify on Capitol Hill this week, correction, in his FOMC meetings this week, Tuesday and Wednesday. And we're gonna get those FOMC meeting notes released on Wednesday, which will signal whether, because of the Ukrainian rush situation, Jay Powell will pivot in the month of April. Currently, we know for the month of March, he's doing a quarter basis point. This means that your SS300 is locked in potentially at an 8% increase across the board. Then CR for stimulus. The White House is set to unveil another CR potentially this week. I'll tell you why. Then the SS300 will also get the incredible add-on of that big $80,000 of checks. It's currently live and viewers continue to get the applications in on file. I'll show you one of you who got her application in and what you need to know to get those $80,000 of checks. They're live and they're paying out right now. Then the recessionary concerns, the inflationary concerns, Iraq, Venezuela, and Iran. What's going on with the energy shortage and then a major twist overnight. Yes, the major twist overnight is China. China is now potentially coming to the bailout of Russia, both economically and militarily. And why is there a major pivot to get six stimulus, the biggest payout you've ever seen in the history of the channel, passed? I'll go over what six stimulus means for you and what the China part of the equation overnight happened to develop into. A major meeting is happening today in Rome. It's the United States and China, and it's all about your money and where we're going thereafter. It's a big afternoon, and all the incredible money from third, fourth, fifth, and sixth stimulus heats up right now from the shores of Santa Monica, California for March 14th, 2022. This, my friends, is a major breaking news report of Afternoons LLX. And good afternoon. I hope you're having a good day. You're looking at a map of China. Why? Because a major meeting is happening between U.S. and Chinese delegates today. Because those Chinese delegates are vowing to potentially give money to Russia. If China gives money to Russia, we're going into a major world conflict. And I'll tell you why. Then we'll be turning first to the Build Back Better Act. Breaking news. A major letter sent to the White House just minutes ago to pass it. This is breaking news and the time this according. Then we'll be going to those $80,000 of checks live being paid out across the board and what viewers are doing to get those sums of money. And then third stimulus as one viewer got more money overnight. Then the inflationary concerns, the recessionary concerns, Jay Powell set to release his FOMC meeting notes in less than 48 hours. I'll go over what he's likely to say in view of the changing developing details. SS300, he know, of course, for that and then CR for stimulus. What's going on with that this week with another piece of legislation? The oil situation going from bad to worse over this weekend. If you tuned on on Sunday, you heard a preview of what's happening tonight. Venezuela, Iraq, Iran not coming to the help of anyone and the what could this signal? This could signal the biggest stimulus package of the history of this channel, six stimulus. And it's already being lined up domestically and internationally. We have all those details in today's recording. But first, let's start with the Build Back Better Act. And the breaking news at the time of this recording is this letter. This letter was sent this morning, March 14th, 2022, from members of Congress to the White House, telling the White House to get the Build Back Better Act signed 
into law. Now, remember, the House has already passed the Build Back Better legislation. So this is a statement of advocacy for the really the Senate that has not yet passed it. The Build Back Better Act has three clauses of checks and three add-ons of checks. Who does not sign the letter? The letter is not signed by Nancy Pelosi. More about that later in this recording. Now, let's go into those incredible checks in Build Back Better. And tonight in prime time at 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, excuse me, Central Standard Time, 5 o'clock West Coast time, you will see Evenings LA, the biggest comprehensive and number one most watched show for financial news in prime time. We're going to go over all these checks one at a time in that recording. But first, let's look at the incredible checks in Build Back Better, at least $15,000 across three clusters and three add-ons. In that first cluster of checks, we have hazard pay and also the earned income tax credit for my essential workers, $4,000 of elder care, money for the children, $3,600, and then the Pell Grant, $550 checks for the college students, $3,600 for young children as well, and then the home repairs. Want to learn about all these incredible checks? Tune in to Evenings LA tonight, 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, in which we go over each of these checks in incredible details. The first add-on of checks comes from here in Maxine Waters Zone, the $25,000 for the purchase of your first home. This is money given to the seller at the time of escrow in your name by the federal government for the purchase of your first home. Yes, it's absolutely incredible. The second cluster of checks are home repairs and paid leave. How do you get these checks? Feature tonight in Evening Daylight. Don't miss it. 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Home repairs are to, in this cluster are to weatherize your home. And the paid leave is for individuals who have to take off from work due to sickness or illness up to four to $6,000 a year. It's a lot of money. That is the second of three clusters in the Build Back Better Act mentioned in that major piece of letter writing today sent to the White House. The second add-on of checks comes from Bob Casey. 20, $250 billion of free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. Got it in there. Then we turn to the third cluster checks, free internet for all checks, currently available in some regards from second stimulus. Reach out to the volunteers if you need it. And then seniors. And then the farmers checks, independent contractors checks, and lots of checks for my seniors. Seniors getting checks on the House side and also on the Senate side. Dental, vision, hearing, lowering the eligibility age of Medicare, and also the Medicaid gap fix. These are many of the checks that the Senate has vowed to add in there on the Senate side. And the other checks they vowed to add in there are MSC, monthly IRS stimulus check, to the Build Back Better Act for stimulus recon. What are MSC? Tonight in Evenings LA in prime time, I go over these checks in details. But these are checks that will be added to the recon that already has fifteen dollars to $80,000 of checks in there. Single visual, $75,000 or less, you get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less, you get it. The eligibility is the same as a third stimulus check. So who would get it? Tune into Evenings LA tonight where I go over these checks. $2,000 the first month, $1,000 after for up to six months. It's not income, it's not taxable, and these are checks that we added to the Build Back Better Act that already has fifteen dollars to $80,000 of checks. And yes, the day started with this letter. March 14th, 2022, we woke up to a letter sent to Joe Biden, obtained by Allied News, that says, pass the Build Back Better Act. While it says Congress of the United States that is actually signed by House members. Ironically, these are the same House members who passed the legislation, so they're advocating for it to get passed across the board. And there you go. My commentary about the letter. My commentary about the letter is that it's not signed by Nancy Pelosi because it's sort of a, it's sort of a null point. The House has already passed it. The letter should be sent to the Senate also, as well as to the President, saying, Chuck, call it for a vote. Chuck, call it for a vote. We featured this a lot on this channel last year, where calling the vote is not a bad thing. You can call the vote and then see if it fails, or tender a call for the vote, do an informal polling, and if you don't have the votes, then go back and modify the piece of legislation. The second part of my commentary for that letter is the pitch of the letter I don't particularly like. I think it's off point. The pitch of the letter is... There's an oil situation, pass Build Back Better because we need clean energy. Oh, my goodness, really off point. That's not the way to fix the energy situation coming up later in this video. And that's also not really the pitch to pass Build Back Better. It's sort of like you haven't dealt with clean, you haven't dealt with the energy shortage, which is ramping up production in, in, in Texas gasoline. And you're using Build Back Better as an excuse to fix something you haven't fixed, which has nothing to do with Build Back Better. It's a little bit off point. Now, I understand they're trying to pivot one to the other. Good idea. But 
I think that anyone with a brain cell understands that you got two problems to fix and adding problems on top of problems doesn't mean this solves the other problem. More about that later in this recording when we look at six stimulus. The incredible surprise today is, of course, the CR for stimulus. It passed last week that did not have a $2,000 stimulus check in there, but the White House is coming back with another piece of legislation. Confusing? It is. The White House was not happy, says Jen Psaki, that Nancy Pelosi took out the money for COVID from the CR, the continuing resolution, last week. So the president will be coming back with another piece of legislation this week, they say. We have not seen it yet. I'll be watching the situation. As soon as I have it, I'll have it for you. Today is Monday. March 14th, 2022. On Tuesday and Wednesday, the two-day policy meeting of this guy, Jay Powell, will happen. The Federal Reserve will have its two-day FOMC meeting. And on Wednesday, we will have the FOMC meeting notes. Now, you and I already know what it will say. It will say for the month of March, the inflationary rate will be a quarter basis point. But will it give us guidance for April? That is what you and I are looking for. Because of why? SS300. The pivot for pivot from COLA to, to inflation, a four-year benchmark, is critically dependent upon when j Powell makes the pivot and how he makes the pivot for April and May. Let's go over the analysis right now. j Powell, his job is to bring down inflation. And to bring down inflation, how does he do it? He raises interest rates. When does he raise them? At FOMC meetings. There is one per month over the next five months. Pretty simple? Yes. So we already know what he's doing for this month because he already told us last month. He's doing a quarter basis point, fine. That will not bring down inflation that much, but it will see up, set, set up what's going to happen for the month of April. Will j Powell do the same lesser of two evils, a quarter basis point, in April, or will he do a half basis point more aggressively in April? If he does a half basis point, then you have to worry that Joe Biden makes that swap from cold to inflation right away. Because it takes about a month for this inflationary rate change, that interest rate spike from j Powell to swirl through the economy. And if that happens in April, then by May, you want to make that swap out. Not us. Joe Biden wants to make that swap, up, swap out. Let's explain what's going on. Your benefits are tied to COLA. It's a bad benchmark. And during his run for presidency and during his camp, during his presidential platform at JoeBiden.com, the president said that he would swap out COLA for inflation. If you swapped out COLA for inflation today, you would lock in the highest inflationary rate of a generation, 8%. Predicted by this channel last year, I predicted December would be 8%. It was. I predicted January would be 8%. It will. But what will be in February, March? I don't know because I don't know how aggressively j Powell's coming in. So if Joe Biden made the swap today, you would lock in a 200 lift of your benefits, not just this month, not just this year but a lifetime, because once your benefits go up, they never go down. That's why you want that swap out to happen right now. If the swap happened in April, you're also fine, because Jay Powell's move or pivot in April won't affect the economy until at least May. It's when we get to late April or May, then I get a little bit concerned, because guess what? We'll see whether Jay Powell will pivot too aggressively in April that your benefits may not get a full 8% lift. Let's do some of the analysis right now. What is Jay Powell looking at going into Tuesday and Wednesday, and specifically those Wednesday FOMC meeting notes? You have to tune into this channel on Tuesday. You have to tune into this channel on Wednesday. If you're wondering what's going to happen with your SS300, those are the two days you want to tune into. Why? Because we're going to get those FOMC meeting notes on Wednesday and maybe a preview of them on Tuesday that potentially will tell us what's happening in April at the April meeting. If Joe Biden swapped your benefits right for now, you're fine. If he swamps your benefits out in March, you're also in April, you're also fine. But if he swamps them out in late April, I'm starting to get worried because by then we may have had two interest rate spikes or potentially one lighter one and one stronger one. So you want to make have Joe Biden make the call. Hashtag Joe make the call. Hashtag Joe make the call to that Social Security Administrator. Swap COLA for inflation right now. What is Jay Powell also looking at? I'll feature more about this tonight on 80s LA. But two other factors. One, the European Central Bank, what they said on Thursday. And two, what the 10-year Treasury note is today. Over this weekend, I told you to tune into today's broadcast because I was going to give you the 10-year Treasury note. On Friday... The 10-year Treasury note went up because bond traders believed that the inflation numbers for last month released last Thursday are actually lower than where the inflation rate may be now. This is surprising. 
So where's the 10 year treasury note today? It's up again. It went up another 2% today, even higher than it was on its surge on Friday. It's at 2.0%, which is the highest point since July 2019. This is as bond traders believe that inflation is actually higher. Jay Powell's looking at all this data, and you will as well. Tonight in Evening Delight, I will go over what this bond traders are thinking and why it's big news for your SS300. It's coming up tonight in Evening's Prime Time at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Now, that is the situation on that front. The great news is $80,000 of checks are now live, and viewers are starting to get them. And we're going to look at that map once again. Yes, this is a map of those $80,000 of checks, what we call on this channel, the fourth stimulus add-on, the fourth stimulus ancillary piece of legislation. $80,000 of stimulus checks are being paid across the United States, and this is just absolutely incredible. As viewers of this channel, as members of this channel, you have gotten your applications on file. If you're a member and you haven't gotten your application on file, you need to do it today. Here is one viewer, her success story. We'll go over her success story and what that means for you in the second half of this video. Then, something brand new as well, China. China is now scaring the socks off the United States. And this is big news because it has to do with six stimulus. Six stimulus is Putin's stimulus. First and second stimulus was COVID. Third was coming out of COVID. Fourth was coming out of COVID. Fifth was for, for SSI beneficiaries, which I'm going to go over in the second half of this video. But sixth stimulus, which is happening at the same time as all this, is Putin's stimulus. And the breaking news is that there's a major twist in six stimulus today. And the country at issue is China. I got to tell you, this is the scariest news I've delivered on this channel, perhaps for 2022. You have to tune into the second half of this video because this is something you want to know. And especially if, you, if you're young sons, internationally, domestically, you want to watch the second half of this video because this is something no one saw coming. It's coming up at the second half of this video, plus big money and third stimulus. We got a lot of money coming for you in the second half of this video. Stay with me. As the big afternoon's broadcast of Afternoon's LA goes in the second half, but first, here's a little bit about the community pay. If you need assistance with any of these sums of money from Third Stimulus, reach out to them. See you back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And excitement continues on the second half of afternoon, starting right now. Later in this video, we're going to go over why six stimulus is happening and why China is scaring everyone today. It's breaking news, and it's something you've never heard on this channel, and I'm not excited to report it. But it's the reality of the situation. But first, we're going to start with some great news. $80,000 of checks going live and paying out, and this is for stimulus. For stimulus, the Build Back Better Act, featured early in this video, is not live. It is not law. But this add-on or ancillary piece of legislation called the Homeowner's Grant is live. It went live no less than a week ago today. And we go over these big sums of checks starting right now and everything you need to know from bottom to high and low. 
For Stimulus, this add-on is live, and it's paying out already across the board. What is it? First, it's a homeowner's grant. And if you're a homeowner, you want to get it. If you're a renter, I got money for you in just a second, later in this video. Let's separate it out. Renters, you can get third stimulus. Homeowners, you can get third stimulus and this homeowner's grant. So back to the homeowner's grant. How much is it? It is fifteen dollars to $80,000 a household. And the eligibility is just like a third stimulus check. $75,000 less, single individual, you qualify. Married couple, $150,000 less, you qualify. If you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, you qualify as well if you're within the zone of that income qualification and you own your home, own home. Now, here is what you need to know is the history of it, the rollout, how to get it, and what's at issue. First, the history of it. The history of it was it was announced by the White House two Fridays ago in a sw small, uncovered memo obtained by Allied News. The memo, which made it a law, was not covered in broadcast, print, or cable news. So you're not going to see this really anywhere else, number one. Number two, as soon as it was announced by the White House that Friday, two Fridays ago, I immediately rolled it into the membership newsletter from this channel, which comes out Monday through Friday. It went into that Friday's membership newsletter and has been featured and will continue to be featured in every membership newsletter from this channel. So how do you become a member? Go into this video right now and get that membership signed up so you get the newsletter Monday through Friday via the YouTube alerts and in there has the application. Number two, what happened thereafter? A week ago today, the program went live across the country. Now, let's go over what it is, let's go over how to apply for it, and let's go over the future of the program. First, what is it? Fifteen to eighty thousand dollars per household. Number one. Number two. For homeowners. Number three. For anyone in that zone of income qualification we just went over. Number four. Every single state, county, and city across the United States. Number five. First come, first serve. So just like things we've talked about the, on the past on the channel, it's first come, first serve. Number six. The faster you get your application in, the faster you get paid. The slower you get your application in, the slower you get paid. It looks exactly like day one of this channel of April 25th, 2020. At that time, I pressed record on the very first video of this channel. I told the four viewers of this channel at the time that there was a new program called Pandemic Unemployment Assistance that was already law, that was about to go live. It was April 25th. I said, get your application on file today because I don't know what's going to happen when it goes live. They're accepting the application on April 25th. Viewers did. And on April 28th, when it went live in some states, those viewers woke up on April 28th and had the money in their bank. For people who waited to apply on the 28th, they got paid a month later, two months later. The other thing that's very similar to the situation is every state has different rollouts because different states have different computer systems. Some states have for spent a fortune in upgrading their computer systems. So when a program like this rolls out, that state will roll out faster than another state that has older computer systems. So... If you see the color gray for like West Virginia and you say, what does that mean? It means your state has all the computer systems run by coal and Joe Mance is Maserati. <laughs> so it's just a slower computer systems in that state. It means you'll get the money slower than another state that has faster computer systems like Texas or Florida or California. But every state's getting the money. Moreover, if you see the color pink in your state, that means something else. Let's go over the map starting right now. First, before I go on the map, let me go over more about what this money is for. So it's for homeowners, for a lot of items that viewers have asked for coverage since day one of this channel. Property insurance, homeowners insurance, association fees, utilities, mortgages, and more. If you've gotten those sums of money before on this channel from Third Stimulus, you can get it again. And if you haven't gotten Third Stimulus, you can get it on top of this. Yes, there is overlap. You're allowed overlap. All right, so let's look at the map. This is the map of the current status of the program. So let's say you're in Texas. California, Florida, New York, and you're in a teal state. What does that mean? It means they're, they're accepting the applications now and they're paying out today. So as of March 14th, 2022, they're accepting your application. And they're also paying today. What if you're in a pink state like Nevada or South Carolina or Ohio? It means that they're accepting your application today, but they're not paying today. Meaning get your application on file and they will pay you the moment they go live with their payment system. Do not wait for that payment system to go live. Get the application in day one because they do do them in the order in which received. Idaho, Utah, those gray states. It just means that there'll be a little bit of time before they switch to pink and green. Everywhere, get that application on file. 
Moreover, when I say words like home, do not overthink the situation. Let me give you something about this. I always talk about this subject on this channel, but I try to really hit it very hard. Do not overthink what I say in the channel. So if I say home and you say I have a mobile home, does that qualify? Just go to the website and apply. Because guess what? Yes, mobile homes do qualify. But in some states, they say how the mobile home has to be different than the other state. Do not not apply because you're thinking it through too much. Moreover, don't overthink it. <laughs> I can't say this with a straight face. Yesterday, despite how many times I call this the homeowner's grant, people say, but I'm a renter. Can I get it? Uh, no, it's the homeowner's grant. It's like the people who say, um, the electric vehicle, I want to buy an electric scooter. Can I get it for the electric scooter? No, it's for an electric car. Don't overthink it. I want an electric microwave. No, it's for the car. Don't overthink it. If I say house, I mean house. I don't mean dog house. I want to get a, I want to get a, uh, a check for my dog. I want to get a dog house for my dog. No, this is not that type of dog. That's not that type of homeowner. Homeowner. It's you to the human's homeowners. So please don't overthink think it because this is not a trick question this is just not there's no tricks to this channel when i say home i only mean home uh and there you go one person actually had a very question good question yesterday she was a renter uh that is uh in a lease purchase so she's about she's about to become a purchase owner no you're currently a renter <laughs> you're currently a renter you don't own a home they're gonna ask you where's the home you want well i will own a home well if you're gonna own a home you know say in like a week from now then apply that if you're gonna own a home like three years from now good luck the program will be out of money so don't overthink it it's literally that straightforward so how do you get this application file become a member go under the members under this video or at the top of this video click the membership link by becoming a member you'll get the newsletter the newsletter every night that it goes out has this at the beginning of the newsletter the newsletter will feature the link to apply the name of the program it's not called the homeowners grant it's a little bit more elaborate than that it will have in there the eligibility the items it covers and everything you need to know the membership benefits also include the ability to, to, to learn about how to get third stimulus because you get third stimulus if you're a renter and a homeowner more about that in a second so become a member today the link is under the video now the membership newsletter comes via the youtube alerts monday through friday 7 p.m pacific standard time the youtube alerts are what you may have got to alert that this video is now playing it's exactly at seven o'clock pacific standard time 10 o'clock eastern standard time almost exactly it depends on you know if <laughs> if the internet has a hiccup you know it arrives you know 15 minutes later and it's if you sign up for the la alerts it also gives you an alert about it but the let the membership newsletter is sent out for the youtube alerts it's not sent by email it's not sent by pdf it's not sent by lobsters and it's not sent by waveable checks on the beach <laughs> there you go get that incredible money right now all right that is that money now let's turn to six stimulus six stimulus what you need to know is that there's a numbering system on the channel the numbering system does not mean that things are sequential does not mean you have to do one before you do four does not mean you have to do four before you do six i just do numbers so you separate them out i can do colors the blue stimulus package the green stimulus package i don't like colors well i like some colors purple but I, so i'm doing a numbering system let's look at six stimulus what is six stimulus it's Putin stimulus. First stimulus was COVID. Second, which never became law, was COVID. Third was coming out of COVID, 2021. Fourth, Build Back Better Act is coming out of COVID. And fifth, which viewers have asked me about, and it's a great question, let me go over fifth in just a second, is Social Security reform. And six is Putin stimulus. Now, what, what do I mean by Putin stimulus? A very simple part of the equation is oil or energy caused stimulus, gas prices stimulus. But I think it's a little bit more complicated than that. So that's why I don't use that word. Uh, why? Because there's a series of major events that are at issue. And those major events are to keep us out of recession. Why is six stimulus being done? To keep us and our partner countries out of recession. Why is it being done? It's being done because of allegiance between the partner countries, the Western allies of France, Germany, and the United States, that partnership ally is involving three states, three countries, where their leadership it progresses, Germany, France, and the United States. In the case of timing, you want to watch to April, because in April we'll learn whether one of those three leaders is reelected. France is President Macron. If he's reelected, six stimulus is definitely happening. So what is that six stimulus? The concept of six stimulus 
is to raise national debt spending and give money to its citizens because of the current levels are unsustainable. Let's give a simple part of the equation. You can't afford gas prices right now. And Germany, France, and the United States understand that they need to do something about it to get off the prices. And that way they do it is six stimulus. Let's start with where this started from at day one. It started about week two of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, where our Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, met with Germany, said, get off Russian oil. They said, no, we don't have an alternative ready. And we, well, our, our economy will go into recession. Then, the Rush, then Germany understood the, the, the situation a little bit differently. A week later, Blinken pushed back and said, you know what, it's a moral issue. You have to get off of Russian products morally. You have to figure out the situation economically. And then the three, the trifecta figured it out, which is to come to an agreement as countries to raise debt spending domestically and give stimulus to our citizens. Why? Let me go over the equation. You have to make sure the U.S. does not go into recession, number one. And you have to make sure our partner allies, Germany and France, they don't go into recession. Because if they go into recession and we're not in stress into recession, they will drag us into it. All three countries, all partner countries like France as well and, and Italy have to stay out of recession as a team. Otherwise, they drag one another into the recession. What are the things that drag us into recession? Number one, oil. Number two, wheat, grain, and commodities. Number three, the banking industry. I'll feature all these in detail tonight on EU's LA. But let me go into the first part of the equation Oh, breathe deeply. <laughs> that is breaking news. Um, I'm very, very concerned about this. Six stimulus is to deal with the current situation that I just described to you. Could that current situation get even worse? Well, yeah, the banking industry, which I've been detailing over the last two nights, and I'll be featuring tonight on ADS LA, but even worse, China. Yes. Now, this is where you want to roll your eyes. Really? Really? Like we need it any worse than this? At the time of this recording, or at the time of watching this recording, a major meeting is happening. And what is that major meeting? Ugh, I just, I'm rolling my eyes because I really don't even want to report this. The United States is meeting with a delegation in Ch with China in Rome at the time of this recording. Who is meeting? Zhang Zhihiti, China's top diplomat, with UN National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan. The meeting is in Rome and it's today, March 14th, 2022. Why is there a meeting there? The meeting is happening there for a series of reasons, stemming from an intelligence report. An intelligence report released to press and myself is indicating that Russia, Putin, has reached out to China, which so far during this, invading, during this Ukrainian invasion has remained neutral. It has not denounced the invasion, but has remained neutral, both militarily and economically. What does the report, intelligence report, suggest? The report suggests that Vladimir Putin has reached out to China and said, give us military equipment. Yeah, that's bad. And number two, bail out Russia economically, China, because we're being sunk by the Western allies. That's even worse. China is now being leaned upon by Vladimir Putin to bail out Russia. And tonight in the evening's LA, I'm going to show you how Russia has blocked Iran, Iraq, OPEC, and the other partner countries from increasing production of gasoline to help alleviate our burdens. So Russia is really trying to push back economically. But when we turn to China, this is a big worry because China is not Iraq or Iran. China is a huge economy. And if China is bailing out Russia, then what happens to our economy? Let's go over the analysis first. If China starts giving money to Russia to offset our sanction against Russia, it escalates everything in dramatic means. Number one, it draws China into the war. Number two, it then brought, draws China into the, into the crosshairs of the United States and our partner allies as potentially, get ready to breathe in, being a target of our sanctions. You can't sit back and see a major economy like China trying to offset Russia's sanctions by giving Russia money. Because guess what? The next person to be sanctioned is China by the United States. And if China gets sanctioned by the United States, guess what happens to our economy? Oh, yeah. You don't need six stimulus. You need six stimulus on major caffeine. You need a major six stimulus package because if China starts bailing out Russia economically, then our economy is in big trouble because we would need to have to pivot and come up with a lot of debt spending and a lot of allegiances economically. Here is a major report reached, released by Richard Haas, who's president of the Council of Foreign Affairs. He says, 
To provide support means China would open itself to up to substantial sanctions and make itself itself a pariah. To refuse would keep open the possibility of at least selective cooperation with the U.S. and the West. So, by using diplomatic outreach to Beijing, the U.S. will be able to lay the groundwork for more friction pressure, says the group. The bottom line is that, at the moment, we do not know if this will happen. We do not know if China will give money to Russia. If China gives a penny to Russia to offset our sanctions against Russia, then China will get sanctioned by the United States. And then what does that happen to us? Our economy would really take a major hit. Now, <laughs> China has another problem. And ironically, China may not do this for Russia. And I got to tell you why. This is my analysis. This is my opinion. It's not fact. China may not help Russia because of something that's happening right now in China. And guess what it is? Oh, yeah. It's another word that starts with the letter C. It's not China. COVID. COVID is hitting China with a sixth wave. And this is big for you folks. China's hitting COVID with a major sixth wave right now. And China's looking to potentially go on lockdown. Now, this is going to impact us domestically and our, economic, our economy before we even get to Russia. Why? <laughs> over the weekend, I was preparing this report before the intelligence came in about Russia and China. The reports over the weekend was that China's going on to potentially a mobile lockdown. And this could disrupt our supply chain. Remember all those products you buy from your big box retailer that come from China? Yeah, this is supply chain all over again. This is inflation. This is price of goods going up. This is economic disruption caused by COVID. Yeah, that sixth wave in China is causing major economic disruption, whether it is um, cell phone products whether it's battery products, whether it's home goods. And that was the story before the Russia-China story today. So in my opinion, if China thinks that its economic growth is going to be stalled because of the sixth wave of COVID, which the reports now say that China may only have a 5% growth rate this year, which is horrible, then China may not want to help Russia because it already has enough problems with COVID sixth wave. COVID sixth wave is so bad that they're now telling their citizens to get a fourth shot. Uh, if you haven't got your fourth shot in the United States and you got originally got vaccinated around February, get ready. Um, I'm about to get my fourth shot in the next few days. Um, so there you go. Meantime, what else about six stimulus? Six stimulus is driven because of the commodity prices as much as oil. And the commodity prices are surging out of control today. Um, that is uh, U.S. crude came down today. So U.S. crude came down about 4%. Um, and it is now at on March 14th at the time of this recording. It's about 106. Actually, it's 106 down 6%. It was 104, I believe, on Sunday for a little bit. Price of gasoline domestically at the pump went down a little bit. 430, 430.20, which is not much. It was 430, uh, 431 on Sunday. Today's 432. Uh, so it's down a little bit, um, according to AAA, the national average. What you need to know is that this six stimulus is huge because... It is a stimulus package to get us off of uh, the economic pressures of Vladimir Putin. Let me tell you why. If you haven't watched this channel the last two, leaves, two, uh, two weeks, let me tell you what's going on. Gasoline prices, whether it's 430, 420, 410, are not sustainable. If they remain at these current levels through the month of May, we're going to recession for two years, number one. Number two, if we get our gasoline prices domestically down, but our partner allies don't don't get their gasoline pivoted off of Russian oil and their surging prices send their economies into recession, we go to recession. I mean, if we fix gasoline here at the, in the States and we don't fix this for our partner allies, they go to recession. Number three, if we fix gasoline and we stay out of recession, all of us, because of recession, because of gasoline, then we have another problem. Wheat and grain. Wheat and grain is being disrupted internationally by Vladimir Putin. So let's go over each of these broadly first right now. We're going to go over them in detail in prime time. Number one, we have to increase production gasoline domestically. And this is where I look at that letter from those congressmen to the White House. And I say, you know what? You folks are just so out of point. You're so off bounds. Every viewer and their sister and brother understands we need to ramp up production. And I got to tell you, if you don't understand some basic concepts of this as a legislator, you shouldn't be legislating. We need to increase production domestically. I'm not alone. The energy secretary said as well. The only problem is she hasn't given an order. And everyone understands that. It's all walk, it's all talk and no walk. We need to ramp up production domestically to decrease the price of gasoline here in the United States. Tonight on Evening's LA, I'll show you that where you ramp up the production is also problematic. It can't be in West Texas because that's not refinery ready. It has to be around the Gulf of, Mex Gulf of Mexico, number one. Number two. We have to get our partner countries off 
of Russian oil and onto something else. Guess what? I've been saying this since uh, since day one of the invasion. I warned about this in October last year, and the White House doesn't have a solution yet. The scariness of this is we could wake up one morning and Vladimir Putin could turn off gasoline to Germany. And what happens then? Everyone goes into a tailspin of recession. He could literally do that in just a second. No one has gotten Germany some oil. We have to as a team. UAE, no, not helping us. Venezuela, we don't have a deal yet because we're sanctioning Venezuela. Iraq, no deal yet. In fact, the Iran negotiations deals are off the table. It's all very bad, and the White House has not, no contingency plan at hand. And then if we solve the situation for gasoline, we haven't even addressed wheat and grain. The farmers can't tender the crop that are in the Ukrainian Black Sea area, and if they can't get that wheat and grain, guess what? The wheat and grain prices continue to go up. I know we grow wheat and wheat grain domestically, but the problem is if there's a shortage because of the invasion, then the price goes up. And everyone's in the chat, in the live chat of these videos, and saying, I'm paying a lot more for bread. That's because... The White House hasn't got a contingency plan ready. <laughs> if I was president, I would immediately ramp up production of wheat and grain domestically with the Wartime Pro Production Act. I give subsidies to farmers to increase production to offset that equation of the shortage internationally. These are very simple equations. Wheat and grain, if you do it right, the problem is nothing's been done right. And then the banking industry. More about that tonight in Utah. Like, this is where I get very concerned, that the banking industry may take a major hit because of their exposure to Vladimir Putin. Meantime, the good news is that third stimulus continues to pay. And I want to go over that big money for third stimulus right now. This, again, is money for rent and also homeowners. So homeowners, you get the money from the $80,000 of fourth stimulus add-on. And you can also get this money from third stimulus. And third stimulus has been lost since spring of 2021, and it's still paying out across the board. So where do you get that big money for third stimulus? You're going to reach out to four places. First, your city hall, your city house authority, your county hall, your county house authority. And the key words you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID, mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. Do three things. You must reach out to all six places and get applications on file. Number two, make sure you put multiple rounds in. Number three, lean on the nonprofits because they provide stuff not even covered in these videos. They're all featured in the membership newsletter. The membership newsletter you need to sign up for. Become a member. Learn about the $80,000 of stimulus checks. Learn about third stimulus. As one viewer overnight did, Brian Graves overnight got a big pot of money from third stimulus. And what did he get? He got, uh, and he's a, a member of two months. He said, hey, this is Brian from Toledo, Ohio. And I got homeowners. I'm a homeowner, but I got rent for eight months the other day. Thank you, LA Purple Power. Eight months for rent. That is huge. What is eight months for rent? You know, the average view of this channel, they get about $1,500 a month for rent. So he's looking at about nine to $10,000. Huge. Day in, day out. Another success story comes in. Send to me on private message, message, Facebook or Instagram. I'll feature success across the board. So get those big sums of money. Also lean on the nonprofits because, boy, they pay for a lot of other items like the big home repairs. And then finally, the average view of this channel has gotten $45,000. You should as well. Get those applications on file today. Do it. Don't wait. Move today and get those incredible sums of money. Tonight on Evening's LA, we have a lot coming up with the shocking developing details of what's happening with China. We'll go over why China could be teeing up the six stimulus, but also teeing up a potential world conflict. We'll be looking at the inflationary numbers that are expected to pivot Jay Powell at that FOMC meeting in less than 48 hours. It's breaking news. It's your SS300. We'll be looking at the oil, gas, and energy and banking industry situation that could send us into a recession and what's happening on that front. We'll be looking back at those $80,000 of checks and understand how to get each of those incredible checks. And then we'll be looking at the success stories for viewers from Third Stimulus as well. Plus, Build Back Better Act, we'll be looking more at that new letter from the Congress to the White House today, and also all these other big sums of money. For now, stay informed, stay focused. I'll see you tonight in prime time with America's most watched show for financial news in prime time. It's Evenings Out Light. 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with Ally for more.